This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. I'm going to continue. Uh, last time we worked together, we um, we shelled the body out. Um, as you can see, it's still a shell, but you see these solid things going through here. What I'd like to do now is, is uh, cut the wheel wells out so that we can take this body and put it on top of our real car to see if there's any interferences. For instance, is the motor going to stick out through the back or is there a way, reason we can't assemble it? So the first thing I'm going to do is you notice the, um, the mirror is down here. What I want to do is drag the mirror up above the wheel arches if it's not already there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, we're going to click on the wheel arches, click on one of them, right click it, edit definition. Now we're going to use this solid, which we just highlighted, to actually cut the holes. So you can play around with this a little bit and see how this works. But if you look up here and double click this guy, I'm just going to make it mirror imaged. And I'm going to change it so it drags all the way through. Because I, all I want to do is make sure it cuts both sides of the car. In other words, if this was in here like this, it wouldn't cut anything. Um, and if it were, say, for argument's sake, on one, only one side, it would only cut one wheel. Maybe something like that, only, only one side is going to get cut. So let's go mirror image it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on... If I, if I click yes right now, this would be carbon part of the car, as we, I think we know from past experience. But I'm going to click on remove material and it actually cuts it and you can see it's cut through the other side. Now when I click OK, it's going to automatically do the front as well. OK, it just says that the draft cut, the front portion is not regenerated, but I don't care because I don't need that. Um, now if you were scroll in, you can see the gap there. You see the gap? OK, so what we're going to do is A, B, standard orientation, then we come down to wheel arches, we right click on the, eel, the wheel arches and suppress it. It says you want to suppress it. it just means it's going to hide it. You click OK. And that's exactly not what I want to do. Sorry. Um, let's try it again. Uh, draft extended. Uh, suppress this. Arches extended. Yes. That's what I wanted. So I, I, I accidentally did this one. Now if you scroll it up, you can see it's gone all the way through. And now that's finished. Now the next step is I'm going to show you how to assemble it and, and stick it on top of our existing frame. Okay, so AB, standard orientation. Let's save that file because we're so far it's worked okay. And that's it.